Well, happy Thanksgiving, Trinity community. Thanksgiving Chapel is one of my favorite events of the school year, and this year we are not able to gather, to gather as a community. I love seeing grandparents and aunts and uncles and friends come to the Trinity campus and pour into the gym, and we have such a great time, the second graders leading us in our worship. There's so much that's changed this year, and we can't do that, but we are able to do something different and to say thanks. Thanks to our great God whose countless gifts of love bless us at Trinity every day. And so I'm thankful myself for Nathan Clendenin and Janet Ray and the team of people who have put this video together and all of you Trinity students and parents and grandparents and faculty and staff who have shared stories of things that you're thankful for. I am thankful that we are still in school at Trinity, that we have been able to be in person since August the 19th, and that the Lord has protected us. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His steadfast love endures forever. Let's worship Him now together. Please bow your heads and pray with me. God, our Creator, your gifts to us are countless, and your goodness is without limit. As we come together before this community holiday known as Thanksgiving, let us rejoice in gratitude at the gifts of creation, the riches of the land and seas, in each other made in your image. Let us marvel in the warmth and belonging created by being in relationship to the earth and to each other. Let us give freely without expecting anything in return. Let us remember the first feast of the English settlers and the Wampanoag tribe that inspired this holiday. Let us remember the days of mourning that followed that first feast as the numbers of native peoples of the land dwindled. Yet, God's creation is resilient. Let us remember to celebrate the vibrant and powerful native descendants made in your image. Their families and communities persist to this day throughout our culture and country. As we celebrate Thanksgiving on Thursday, let us also remember the value of Native American Heritage Day on Friday. God, you are big enough to hold all of our stories, so we tell them honestly and freely. For your vast grandeur, we give thanks. In Jesus' name, amen. For the beauty of the earth, for the glory of the sky, for the love which from our birth over and around us lies, Lord of all to My name is Ray Tor, and one aspect of God's creation that I love and can see every day are birds. In particular, uh, I love the variation in coloring of, the, of birds, you know, the blues, the reds, the yellows, and the greens, and how that all blends together. It's almost like someone took a paintbrush and painted uh, the colors on the birds. Uh, I also love their song, the cheerfulness and joyfulness of their uh, chirping and singing. And lastly, uh, I love to see their freedom of flight and to be able to see how they can dart about and uh, soar uh, with such freedom. The variation in color, you know, of the birds reminds me of how we, we as people are, are fearfully and wonderfully made. And, uh, and the Lord did all that. And I'm, I'm thankful, especially at Thanksgiving, for seeing that variation that's there. I feel so grateful for just this world that we live in, specifically here in North Carolina. The fact that we have such a varied environment and that there are such tangible ways to see God and really feel His creation here looking outside. We can't understand His greatness and the vastness from everything that He's created, but we can truly understand His love through other people. 
and just the fact that we can be here and be in relationship with one another. Um, I feel like I've grown so much in knowing the Lord better just by the fact that I get to see His presence in seventh graders every day. They're the best. <laughs>second grade and I'm thankful for my sister's birthday and where we get around the table and celebrate her birthday. I'm thankful for that we get to go to Trinity this year. I like Thanksgiving. I get to have fun with my parents. Whenever I'm scared, um, God helps me be brave. I am thankful for my friends because I moved from Iowa to North Carolina the, this summer. I am also thankful for how well Trinity is like doing uh, school during the pandemic. I've had a chance to make friends and it's, my grades would probably be worse um, if I wasn't actually in school like we're doing here at Trinity. I'm thankful for the Trinity community and the friends and family um, of Trinity because about three years ago, my mom was going through complications with her sur for surgeries on her foot. And um, Trinity really just stepped forward and surrounded us with like love, prayer, and lots of care. Our community who really just kept pushing us to lean on God. And so that's why I'm thankful for them. Um, my name is Judy Cannon. I'm in the seventh grade. This is my first year at Trinity School. I'm thankful for the Trinity community being very welcoming, especially the staff, teachers, and um, the students were very nice. I was able to make a lot of friends. First of all, I'm really thankful for my three different host families so far. They supported me along the way. They encouraged me to be who I am. And also they welcomed me to their homes which I'm really, really thankful for them. I think I'm just so thankful to be not only like working in a place where like the love of Christ is evident um, in my coworkers and in the families of the students, but also just in the students each day. And so I'm so thankful this year that we have been able to be in person. Um, I just think that there's just something so much more tangible in that, not only learning, but just in, um, being able to see their faces or their eyes <laughs> and just being able to be present and just, I know, um, just missing that connection with people for so many months. I'm just really thankful for that this year. First of all, I'm just so thankful to God for all of the blessings that have been poured out on me. Um, but I feel like none feels more special than the really unexpected ones, specifically when you find the blessing in all the bad stuff. Because um, we serve a God who makes all things work together for our good, like it says in Romans. So uh, we are trying to keep in contact with friends and family from so far away, and you have to get really creative with that. 
And that creativity has led to a lot of opportunities to strengthen relationships and grow so much closer to one another, even though it's with a friend who lives a thousand miles away in Arkansas and my family that lives 1,200 miles away in Illinois. Um, and so just being able to find the, the good, find the blessing in all of the badness has really reminded me of like who's really in charge. And I'm just so thankful to God for all of the things, but especially that. Um, I guess I'm thankful for having enough like and being able to go to the school, having enough to go to the school. And um, I'm thankful for my cats. They're th my three cats. They're really sweet and they're nice. Whenever you go through hard times, you always can just remember that God's with you and that he's always right by your side. When I broke my leg, I was in lots of pain and I didn't know what's going to happen next and I just trusted God and I was like, he knows what's going to happen. It was very crazy and I had lots of adults around me when it happened and then after the fact I had my friends send me cards and I had some family members and my friends came over. I'm thankful that um, God created us to love one another. that our Father in Heaven loves us and cares for us, and so He gave His only Son to die on the cross for our sins. I'm thankful for friends because 2020 has been a rough year for me and my family. I've had a lot of family members pass away this year, and it's been hard. But friends have been there for me, and so has like my other family members who have reached out and called that I haven't talked to in a long time. And it's been really good because I feel like I've created a stronger bond with a lot of my friends. I'm thankful that we don't need to go through the rest of 2020 and into 2021 um, alone. Just knowing that we've got God on our side um, is something that gives me you know, a level of peace inside. During this time of uncertainty, if I didn't have God on my side, I don't know where I would be. Uh, I think I'm the kind of person that would probably panic and run in the other direction. Um, and I think the reason I can wake up every single morning is knowing that God is on my side. He's not going to leave me. Um, and just how thankful I am, um, you know, that I know him. What a great time together to hear stories from so many different people in the Trinity community. Thanks for sharing all of you. And I want to wish everyone in the Trinity community a safe and a happy Thanksgiving, even though it will probably be different than any Thanksgiving we've ever experienced before. Let's all be careful over Thanksgiving. Let's observe the rules that we've learned to observe so well here this fall at Trinity to keep ourselves safe and to keep one another safe, non nobis serving one another. And let's continue always to give thanks to the Lord. So we invite everyone to join in this closing liturgy. It is the, the response is, we thank you, God. And as you see the leader uh, give the signs for this, we invite you to join in and with heart and hands and voices, give thanks to our great God, non nobis. For your world and all its beauty. We thank you, God. For the love of friends and family. We thank you, God. For this school and all we learn. We thank you, God. For the hope that we have through Jesus. We thank you, God. Join me in prayer. Accept, O Lord, our thanks and praise for all that you have done for us. We thank you for the splendor of the whole creation for the beauty of the world, for the wonder of life, and for the mystery of love. Above all, we give you thanks for the great mercies and promises given to us 
through Christ Jesus our Lord. O oh, Father, be with us now and forevermore. Amen. <laughs>